USGS still crunching the numbers on this, but we're told warnings went out to tens of thousands of people in our region and across the Bay Area. Yeah, certainly got the dogs going in my house when mm -hmm. those alerts went off. Well, it initially estimated the quake to be a five magnitude, 5.7, now what a 4.2. So why was it so off? CBS 13's Ashley Nanfria getting answers for us tonight about the science behind the shake alerts. Ashley? Well, it may have been a little bit of a startle waking up to a message like this one, alerting you of an earthquake in the region and to take cover. USGS says it won't be the last time we get a notification like this, and it's important to know what to do when it happens again. All of California is earthquake country. About 50 earthquakes a day are reported in California alone. Most of them small, but it's important to know what to do when there's a big one. When time is an important thing, every second matters with earthquake early warning. And so we needed to get something moving as quickly as possible. And that's where Shake Alert comes in, created by USGS as an early earthquake alert tool to let you know to prepare. That we have stations that are out in the field that are constantly on the watch for ground shaking, for the earth moving. And when those stations detect that ground motion, they move that information really quickly to a processing center. From the processing center to your smartphones, alerting you about earthquakes four and a half magnitude or larger. People who could feel shaking, that's like a heavy truck passing by your house, uh, that kind of vibration or greater. We, those people are targeted to get alerts for that shaking level or greater. With over 1,600 seismic stations throughout their network, they cover each fault line by a wide net. So you don't know what areas are going to get shaken for every earthquake, but what we do in those just a few seconds of calculation is we figure out how big that event is going to be. Depending on how close the epicenter is to the sensor, like in the case of the Isleton quake, the magnitude can change. But with only a few seconds to work with, they say your safety comes first. The shake alert system really has a delicate balance between speed and accuracy. And every earthquake teaches us something new. We're constantly improving. But the idea is to, to really prioritize human safety. Telling you to take action before the quake hits. Earthquakes are going to continue to happen. And it's just a matter of us becoming more prepared and adding these wonderful new tools like shake alert to to our toolbox. Well, the timing of this shake alert notification was very coincidental as tomorrow is the great California shake out drill. You'll get another notification on your phone similar to this one today, but this time it'll say it's a drill.